And another fishing level miss. Surprise, surprise. Alright YouTube, what's got inside here? 5000 here today, bringing you episode number 40 of my Road to Max series today. Continuing with the fishing grind that I sort of took a break from the last episode actually. Last episode I did some Slayer, I'd highly recommend you go and check that out. Basically I'm getting about 200k per hour at fishing right now, so I'm actually flying through the levels. Not been doing much, had a lot of AFKing time. Managed to get this level 97 into 98 in literally two days. Absolutely wonderful. Two more days I reckon it'll be to get to level 99. It'll probably be less than that to me also. It'll probably be a day because I plan to do absolutely nothing tomorrow but just race through this. I've got to use up all my urchins as well. Uh, basically that'll give me some bonus experience which I can use at the waterfall fishing shop. However, I do need to remember to actually use them up because I don't really feel the waterfall has much good things out of it. I think it's some like uh, customization stuff, some clothing, maybe a staff or something. And it's just basically XP lamps. XP lamps is really what you want to go for because you do get a lot of urchins really over your span of your hour. You might as well just use them up on XP lamps. I think the XP lamps only give you about 3k, so it's not actually too much XP. But the amount of urchins I have, I have a, probably a few thousand points worth. Uh, probably over 10,000 points worth. And by the end of this, I'll probably have close to about 20,000. So I might as well use them up, because I'm going to use them for nothing else. I'm slowly but surely also stacking up some of these Valentine hearts. I'm not actually going to use them. I'm just going to sell them. If you get them, sell them. Because I really don't think it's worth the customization clothing. You're not really seeing one, two many people walking around with them. And they're not really too much in demand, so you might as well sell them. Especially if you've got a lot of them, then you are going to make a few free mil, which is always a very nice bonus. Right, I do believe it is now time. So if we come down here to the waterfall shop, as you can see, basically I've got something like 18,000 points. Basically the large crystals are worth three points, the smaller are worth one, and the medium are worth two. The amount of large ones I've got, that there gives me like 17, 18,000 alone. And then I've got a wee bit of small, one or two medium. So that gives me a decent amount of points. I really don't actually know what I need to do with these points because I've gone ahead and I bought myself 9 fishing lamps. These basically give me 3k each, so I need 8 to get me 24k, I need just over 24k, so bought myself 9, this will get me the 99. What should I do with the rest of the points because I don't really feel there's anything worth it. Please leave a comment though because if there's something I don't know about that I could use them on, that'd be very, very helpful. Unless they're probably just going to sit in my bank and gain dust or I'm actually going to redeem them on more fishing XP lamps. Which seems kind of pointless because I probably should have used them up uh, much earlier on. But I guess they're probably just going to go to waste like the harmonic dust. Anyway, that is me now only 841 XP away so it's time to go ahead and get this level. And there we go, there is level 99 fishing. A wee bit of delay in the animation there. And that is it. So that is my 8th 99 now, just waiting for a few messages to come through. There is the broadcast. Don't get to see them too often, to be honest. But I only actually got 99 prayer, what, about 30 weeks ago, I think. So it really wasn't too long ago I actually got 99 prayer. Nice to see another 99 again. I don't honestly know when my next 99 will be. I'll just really have to wait and see. I don't even know what it's going to be. I've not even thought that far. It uh, might be on the double XP weekend coming up, which I'll talk about later. Either smithing or herbal or maybe. Uh, but honestly, right now I've got no plans. So time to go ahead and get the cape. Now I'll end up actually coming into the fishing guild and then walking past the fishing master. And then come back around and find him. Going to buy two capes like I usually do. One to just sit in the bank and basically hold a spot at the top. And then also one to wear. Always done that with capes for some reason. Not at all sure why. I think I must have seen it in a video. Someone's video. It's just nice to see all the capes along the top of your bank it's very easy to get and it also looks kind of cool especially now that I've got a fair amount built up which is very very nice anyway let's go ahead and always 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 when I get a brand new cape take everything off go ahead and put it on the color scheme for this is very nice actually I think anything with yellow works out really well I think prayer is a very nice cape that one is yellow and white herbler one is very nice as well that is green and yellow so very good colour combination this one, I can see myself wearing this one quite a bit. You don't really see this cape too often to be honest, it's not a too common 99, I mean it's not one of the more uncommon ones, but it's not one of the common ones, it's in the middle. Quite a cool emote as well actually, I can't even remember if I've ever seen, I probably have seen the fishing one at some point, but it's just so long, not many people do the emotes with the skill capes anymore, because I think skill capes are just so easy to get compared to what they used to be back in the good old days. So I surprisingly find myself doing some divination actually. I basically got a daily, and dailies when I get divination, that's the only motivation I have to do divination. On the rare occasion I do Guthanix's cats, but I'm rarely on at the time it happens. And basically, 
Strange thing about this daily actually, so basically I can do the second top tier Luminous, I'm pretty sure it is, energy. So that's from level 90 onwards. Uh, however, the daily came up saying I had to do Radiant Energy at level 85 onwards. I don't understand, I thought it would make me land up doing the highest kind of energy that I could. This is the second highest kind I can, so uh, it seems a bit silly to me to be honest. But this is me doing some, and I think now that fishing's gone, it's another AFK skill, I'm sort of looking for things to do, so I think it's really going to be between... It's not really going to be between this, to be honest. It's probably going to go to runecrafting next, I'm thinking. That's going to be when I need to AFK, just go to runecrafting. Runecrafting's incredibly slow, but it's not too bad because it's more AFK than this. This is just so, so, so slow, and it's a wee bit more. You need to click a wee bit more than runecrafting, I feel, anyway. By the way, I do runecrafting at runespan. I do not do runecrafting the normal way, I guess you could say, runecrafting through the abyss. That is very click intensive, it would make you a lot of money, but for me at this stage money is not a problem. Plus I feel there's a much more better ways to make money, that's the bottom line. Doing double nats is a very very good thing, also doing multiple fire runes, that's now improved as well. However I just feel that going ahead and doing rune span and then making money is the other way, that's probably what I'm going to land up doing from now on. Probably not going to do too much divination, else this might be the last clip you see from this skill for a while. So it's like I predicted the future, it wasn't it? Doing some runecrafting right now, not got a daily actually, thought you know what, i just come down here. Do have some good dailies though actually, I'm probably going to get out of here in a second. Over the last day I've probably gained about 200 or so K runecrafting XP. Basically the skills that I've got left, or the AFK skills that I've got left anyway, they're not very exciting. Basically I got the fast ones out of the way first, and unfortunately it's just the slow ones. This means that there's going to be very, very few levels from the AFK skills anyway, which is sort of dragging me towards the non-AFK skills. Anyway, going back to dailies here, definitely go ahead and do Dwarf Weed one, that'll take two seconds. Same with the Herblore one, the Supreme Magic Potions as well. Need to prepare for this double XP weekend. Also, uh, I'm not going to do the advanced no one. I think I tried to re-roll that and unfortunately didn't get anything out of that. Can probably do the slayer and the combat one together. Uh, I should probably go ahead and actually do a slayer task because if I can level up my invention weapon for double XP weekend, I'm under the assumption that there's been some weird things, like say with prismatic stars, for some reason you actually can't put it towards inventions, so I'm assuming there's going to be double invention XP with this double XP weekend. However, there might not be, and if there is, hopefully I can actually get up a lot of levels, because as you know, I've really not trained it too much since the skill has came out. So just before I go ahead and do my dailies, I want to start preparing for double XP weekend, just because obviously things are going to start to go up in price, so I might as well go ahead and do my buying earlier on. If you've not really planned it yet, then I recommend doing so now. It turns out double XP weekend is actually not this weekend, but next weekend. For some reason, if you go ahead and type in Google, RuneScape 2016 double XP weekends, it comes up with last year's article and last year's dates, which would have been this weekend, so it's a bit unclear. However, it is next weekend, so I've still got about eight days, nine days, until double XP weekend starts. I'm gonna do Herblore, as you can see here down the left, I've basically got loads of super strength attacks, Defense, magic and ranging potions are going to come into extremes which I've already got some left over from when I previously made overloads. Also got the secondary ingredients in there as well. Basically I've got 750 because I've done some calculations. Roughly 750 potions, that'll get me about 350k per set. 350k times 5 is like 1,750k. Then that'll give me roughly just under a thousand potions in extremes to go ahead and make overloads. Overloads will roughly give me about a k each. You then need to times that by 2 obviously, so I'll definitely get 99. So I might not land up using all the potions, it really just depends what I'll land up doing. Basically I'll probably do it like, use 100 magic potions, 100 range, 100 attack, 100 defense, 100 strength then make them into overloads and do another 100 and basically see how I go. I don't think it's going to take me very long at all to get 99 Herblore when I get round to it. It's probably going to be one of the first things I do actually. Unfortunately that weekend though I'm busy all day the Sunday so that means I'm not going to get too much playing time in and a lot of coursework during then as well so I'll just have to wait and see really what happens. Hopefully I'll get a lot of training done. I also have 9,179 adamant bars which are basically just do it into plate bodies. That'll get me up to about level 97 in a bit. I need about 22, 23,000 bars to actually get all the way to 99 so that'll cost me quite a lot of money. I'm willing to actually spend all my money because I will easily make money back. However, I won't be able to do that really until after double XP weekend, so the money I've got right now, I am restricted by. 
If we come in here and look at proteins as well, got quite a lot of uh, protein bars, that's 250k right there. I've also got hides which are a bit redundant. Can use them logs to make more planks. That'll get me some construction XP. I don't think it'll get me too much to be honest. I'm only 100 and 155k away from my level. I've also got bonus XP there as well, which is quite good. Then I've got traps. Traps or hunter, it, I don't think they actually give too much XP to be honest, compared to like protein bars. However, it's always a good help because I really don't like training hunter. I'll definitely be doing my divine locations over that weekend as well. I've got 340k to go on that scale, so we might only get one or two levels, but I really couldn't complain about that at all. So I realized just after recording that clip that sinkhole's time, so I went ahead and did them for the day. As you can see, I've done really well. I managed to get 600 points and absolutely beast the lobby. Unfortunately, I didn't get the huge lamp, but I had the meerkat there. That means I can add on a medium lamp to my reward. A medium and a small lamp are actually better than a huge lamp. So that's 30 at 35k, 65k. Means I've only got about 45k to go. Going to go ahead and very quickly do another sinkhole and we'll hopefully get the level. So that is me managed to complete another sinkhole. Unfortunately, I didn't do as well. Still got 500 points here. This is much more competitive at lobby. Managed to get a large lamp. So this should land up getting me the level. And unfortunately it has, I'm only 2k off, so I'm basically going to go very quickly, go ahead and blitz through one or two dungeons on complexity 1 just to be able to get the level. Right, so that's me done like floors 22 and 23 on complexity 1, basically just gone through that, that there's taking like 4 minutes to do, the previous one took like 3 minutes. End in the dungeon now, there we go, there's level 92, so that's me halfway to 99. Obviously I need to remember that dungeon eating really goes all the way up to 120, so I'm only really just getting started. However, I don't really have any plans for ever to go for comp, to be honest. I think max cape would be good enough. Uh, comp for me, that is like 10 years down the line. I'm not even really thinking about that, to be honest. So I'm not really thinking about 120 dungeoneering. Anyway, at least I managed to get that level. Now that's me at another skill at halfway to level 99. Down that bottom corner, I want to do the same with construction. That shouldn't be too difficult. And I would like to do the same with divination as well. Slayer's the next thing that I'm going to go train after this. Unfortunately, I don't want anything new, however, that doesn't really bother me. So, fast forward to the next day, and I'm now finally doing the Slayer task. As you can see, I've just completed my daily there. That won't get me too much XP, only probably about 10k. However, it does really help out with Slayer, because Slayer is one of the slower skills. Everyone doing Gargoyles right now. I've never done Gargoyles before, and they are really, really fast. I think it's partially due to my double XP. As you can see, I'm getting like 400 XP in Slayer alone per kill, which is absolutely nice. The drops. Slayer's always been one of these skills which people tell me are very, very profitable. However, I've never actually really made too much money from it. This task will actually do quite well. But there we go, there is the level. That's level 82, which is quite nice. Don't know if I unlock anything new, but I'm getting very, very close to Abyssal Demons. As you can see, my inventory, I've not really brought the best setup, to be honest. I'm just using my bandos right now. Should have my halberd equipped, which I'll do that in a second. I'm basically trying to level that weapon up. And what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead... There's not much charms in this, there's no point in me having a bone crusher. I realise I could have much better potion set up. I don't need as much food, especially as I've got my uh, prayer and prayer renewal sort of potion. I could literally be using the soul split the whole time when I need to regenerate. So that's definitely something to learn from next time anyway. From this task though, I should make about 500k, which wouldn't be too shabby. Some of the stuff I'm going ahead and just disassembling as well, like the adamant stuff. I'm keeping the rune stuff because, I mean, they're at least worth 20k each. If I can fill up on some of that, then that'll be quite good. Hopefully it won't take me as long to get to level 83 as it did to 82. I'll slowly start to run it as double XP. However, I want to keep up with the invention grind and see how high I can train up this halberd. And I keep saying that I'm going to really get back into Slayer, but I think this is the opportunity which I need to just go ahead and take. Managed to get my first, I guess, rare drop, I guess you could say. I've been getting lots of these offhands, helms and plate legs. Managed to get myself a granite maul. I believe these are the only things that actually drop granite mauls in the game. I have not used a granite maul since I was probably like level 50 to be honest. So I'm very quickly just going to pick this up and see how much it's worth. Really don't think it'll be worth much a lot. It's worth 30k which to be honest is actually better than some of the stuff I'm picking up. Right now I've probably got about 400k worth of stuff which is not too bad from this task at all. Consider I'm, I'm only really using maybe one overload and a wee bit of prayer every now and then. So that is now the Slayer task complete. As you can see down below I've turned in the challenge and only got like 6k which is kind of shite. 
However, going ahead and price checking all the loot, as you can see, 830k, that's the best I've ever done from Slayer. I realise that's absolutely pathetic compared to some of the Slayer tasks and some of the money that people make per hour, but for me this is actually a very nice incentive, and something that I've never really seen before. As I said, people say Slayer is very, very profitable, I've never really seen it like that to be honest, but now it's nice to see. Also got a wee bit of charms, not many to be honest, it's nice to get 14 blues actually, you rarely get that amount of blues. But bar that, honestly, the other ones, it's not really that beneficial. However, I knew going into this that this wasn't really a charm-orientated task. The amount of XP I got from that, though, was very, very good, and I'd hope to get that task again in the future. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and check this. So it looks like I'm not... Can somebody please tell me, actually, it's not got a next level thing, so does that mean I can continue to level this up? I'm not really at all sure if it does or not. I still don't 100% get this because I don't want to land up using this on my next Slayer task and basically realizing it can't get leveled up. Anyway, so that's 108,000 invention XP. That would get me all the way up to level 29, I think, which would be very nice. But I don't know if I should be continuing to level this up or if I should be going ahead and starting a new weapon. And that is really it for this video. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a quest guide now for Saturday's video. That's going to be Royal Trouble, I'm thinking of doing. However, I might do something else. I'm not totally decided yet. I need to continue preparing for Double XP Weekend. And I think next week I also might uh, make a video on how to be most efficient at double xp weekend like the best things to do over double xp weekend but i'll just have to wait and see tell me if you'd like to see a video like that and what tips you've got for me anyway thank you very much for watching my name is hightower 5000 and i'm out adios